as you can see guys i'm super super fucking cold um i was just out doing infield for you guys so this video is all about how to approach a woman and when it comes to approaching women um, there's many different styles you can do when you're going up to a girl there's everything from walking along with the girl you know running running in front of a girl to uh, stopping her while she's coming towards you and then there's the one where you can physically touch her <clears throat> and there's many other ones these are just the ones i'm going to be covering today but the the thing behind approaching women this is what i want to really cover today because this is what's really important what's really what's really important is i'm going to not try to stutter as much today because it's so cold okay the thing that i want you to understand when it comes to approaching is the mechanics the actual mechanics of doing the approach is not as important as being energetically aware of where the woman is. If you can be energetically aware of where the woman is, the approach will be 10 times better than if you got the mechanics right. It's the same thing like a person will be better at dance if they let go and just let their body move with the music instead of technically trying to do the thing to the beat. So much of bad approaching comes from just you just not being aware of what the woman is energetically. And being energetically aware is about being able to see, okay, how's the woman walking? How's the woman moving? Is she moving fast? Is she moving slow? And being able to energetically move into that place with her. It's like if you walk up to a girl who's walking really, 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 really fast and you go up to her and then you try to come in with a little bit of power, it won't work. And it, the same thing is if you're walking with a girl who's, uh, who's walking along really slow and you come in too fast and powerful, then she'll get shocked. So the main thing you want to do is that you want to be filling into where is the girl when I see her. Because if you just look at her, you will notice this. Filling into a woman a lot of times is about being able to be the observer of the moment when you see her. And I talk about this in my old videos, but... The masculine is the observer. The observer at each moment. You allow yourself to fully move into the masculine when you see the woman. Because when you move into the masculine, you can now get to see, okay, what is the demand for the moment? That's the beautiful thing about the masculine is that once the, once the masculine is able to become a part of the moment, then the masculine knows exactly how to act in that moment, skillfully and spontane spontaneously through what the moment demands. And when you, be, when you are the observer of the moment when you see the girl, you'll start to notice a lot of things that you didn't notice before. Many times when guys, they see a girl, they, <clears throat> they look away and they look at her and they look away and they look at her and they just go. Or even when they're walking up to her, they're looking somewhere else besides where the girl is or at the girl. And the fact that they're not looking right at her, they can't fill into where she is because there is an absolute break in the moment. You can't fill into a woman is by looking this way or looking ahead and then all of a sudden saying hello. That's not going to allow you to fill into where the woman is. To make this easy on you, to make this very simple on you, the main thing I want you to do is be obvious. Be obvious that you're going to do the approach. Don't be, don't be somebody that's like, okay, there's a girl. Okay, I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to do this thing and then I'm going to, at some moment, just say hello to her. Or if I'm going to run to her, I'm going to approach her in front, I'm just going to run next to her and then at the last moment, I'm going to turn around. As you do that, you will notice that uh, you have a break in the moment. And yes, women will get shocked by you because you're not able to fill into what's happening for her. So you won't be able to state match. You will not be able to match what's going on for the woman. This is so important for a man to understand because it is empathy. That really is what it is. You're being able to have an empathetic approach. You're going in with a certain empathy behind you and an understanding of what she's at. If she's moving really fast and in a rush, of course, you're not going to go up and be slow and like, oh, hi, and like that. That's not going to work. What it, what it is going to work if you go up and you snap the moment, like, excuse me, and that will snap her into the moment. Or let's say that she's walking slow and she's just coasting along. And then you walk up really powerful, of course, she's going to be like, oh, my God. But if you walk up uh, very slow with her because you're feeling into the moment, then you can be like, hello. She's like, hi. And there's a relatability immediately. That's what's so beautiful about this. There is a relatability the moment you walk up and you're able to just energetically fill out where the woman is. The relatability is what relaxes her. 
she's relaxed by your empathy of understanding okay in this moment this is the kind of act that needs to be took taken she loves that because that lets her know that you understand without even knowing why women are incredibly turned on by men who understand without them having to say anything and that's what you're doing from the moment you see her so the moment you see a woman lock your eyes onto her lock your eyes because once you lock your eyes onto her you allow yourself to be obvious and as you're being obvious you can now fill into okay what is is the man for the moment is it the man for me to go up and be very powerful is it the man for me to go up and be slower is it the man for me to go up and be kind of in between you kind of fill it out because your eyes are locked onto the girl when you're locked onto her she's able to feel and know that you actually are there, that she can feel you fully because you've been there with her since the beginning, since you first saw her. She didn't see you, but you saw her. And she loves that. And allow yourself to give her that, that liberty and that gift of just filling you fully, your presence fully by you being fully there when you see her. So when you see her, lock your eyes on. Really, wherever she is. I don't care if she's walking fast, I don't care if she's with a group of friends, I don't care where she's at, lock your eyes onto her. And as you lock your eyes onto her, you're obvious. You're obvious in the fact that, yes, I do want to talk to you. And one of the things about obviousness is that it's scary. Obviousness, allow, it makes you exposed and it makes you naked. And the fact that when you feel exposed and naked, it opens you up to what? Being, getting hurt. It opens you up to um, being humiliated and feeling that, the effects of it. It opens you up to everything because now you're completely see-through. And when you're completely see-through, you feel like there's something wrong. Because, oh my God, if I'm completely see-through, then everybody knows about exactly what I'm doing. And she does too. Yep, she sure does. She absolutely knows what you're doing, so be okay with that. And the more you're okay with, yes, the woman knows my intent right now, the more you're going to be more okay. But it stems from, yes, the feeling of you feel vulnerable and naked and the fact of locking your eyes onto her as you go up. Because somebody may see you and they may see like, what is this guy doing? He's just moving this way and why is he m moving in that direction towards that woman like that? Yeah, it might feel creepy, it might feel strange, but I'll tell you right now, this is, the, this is the only way for you to be able to really start to own your desires. To really start to own the fact that you want to meet her. Let that be through your eyes. Let that be through the way that when you see her, you lock on to her. And then when you lock on to her, allow yourself to fill into, okay, if she's moving fast, if she's moving slow, and this will give you everything you need to know about, okay, how should I go in? Because a lot of guys are like, okay, okay, should I go in this way or should I go in that way? Look at the woman. That's, gotta, that's what's going to tell you how to go in. Look at her. Because once you look at her, you'll get everything you need. But you, but you need to be connected to the moment for you to be able to access what you need. A lot of guys are not connected to the moment, so they don't know what exactly to do. And they are trying to go up in their head, logically trying to figure it out. And that's when they logically trying to figure something out, the moment is still in front of them, but they're not connected to the moment. Stay connected to the moment by locking your eyes onto where you're going, which is the woman. Lock your eyes onto her and feel into where she is, which means become the observer. Look, observe from head to toe, the way she's moving, what she has in her hand, uh, whether you know it's cold or not. Whatever is going on, you gotta look. Really look. Your eyes, yes, with your eyes. Look at the woman and see what is the way that I need to go in that's based on this moment or based on the way I feel. And move towards that. And stay fully connected to the moment as you're going up to her. If you wanna go talk to a girl, like if I wanted to go talk to that girl there, I would just stand up, allow my eyes to be locked onto her like they are now, and I would go right over to her and say hello. And as I do that, I, yes, I'm totally in, in, in a place of she knows that I'm coming. <laughs> she does. A lot of guys, they want to do the thing where they're like, okay, I'm going to be unobvious, then I'm going to be obvious. And that unobvious and obvious feels really comfortable. It feels really comfortable because you don't have to deal with the fact of her knowing that you want her from a distance, which means that maybe she see you coming all the way up to her and you're like, oh my God, I'm a creep. She, she doesn't like me. Uh, or, or, oh my God, she's going to think I'm a weirdo for doing this. None of that's true. It's all just because you're not used to staying with your desire when you feel it. But I challenge you to stay with your desire. Stay with your desire the moment you see the woman. Just stay with your desire because the moment you stay with your desire, it'll come to a resolution. And that resolution will be her being wild by it, her not liking it, or something in between. But what you also get from that is you get to experience that more and more the feeling of when I like somebody, I show it. 
That is the thread that you're building inside of you. When I like someone, I show it. And that's the thing, that's the thing that you want to show. That's the thing that you want to convey to her. Absolutely, that I like you. And I, I don't, I'm not afraid of it. I'm not ashamed for the fact that I see you and I find you to be attractive. I'm not ashamed of that. If you don't like the fact that I think you're attractive, great. I'll go tell another girl. But I like you, I do. And if you want a man who's true about his desire, I'm the man for the job. That's what you want. You want to start showing yourself, obviously. Be the observer of the moment when you see the girl. Really observe her and look her head to toe. Take her in fully. Be mesmerized by her. Walk straight over to her with your eyes connected to her. Fully connected to the moment. And say, hello, or excuse me. Give her the compliment, and off you go. So if I had to break them down, you have the one where you walk along with the girl. This is the one where it's usually in a crowded area and um, and you, you want to talk to the girl. Because if you try to run in front, it would, it would become totally out of context. So it's usually in a crowded area and then you, you walk along, you say hello. Or, you know, if you notice that she's strolling along very slow, you can go up and do the same thing. But that's, that's much, much better. And it can work in really any situation. This is the one that I would say that's universal. Because it works in any fucking situation when a woman walking on the street. You can always fill into whether she's walking fast and she's in a rush. So you can come up and be like, all right, now we're going to race. And she'll be like, what? But like, I want to race you because you're walking so fast and I want to talk to you. The only way I can, you know, see us talking is by us racing. Whatever it may be from your own personality. And the walk along works in those situations. So that's, that's when you use the walk along. But let's say that you're running in front of a girl. This is a situation where uh, you just overcome with desire or you just want to stop her before going into a store or something in that situation or there's enough space for you to do it. I would say, yeah, use this one. I mean, this one is not the one you have to use all the time because many guys get addicted to this one and they want to use it all the time. No, you can use this one at will. You know, whenever you see a woman and there's enough space, you can use that one. It's up to you, all right? The, the one in, where you run in front, what that does is that that puts you in a situation where you're confronted with your own desire. You are, you're like, oh my God, I'm showing my desire and it's way of stopping this girl in this very confrontational way. Uh, I hope that, you know, she doesn't get freaked out by my desire. You have to really uh, be okay with that if she does or she have, you have to be okay with the fact of her being shocked by you right away. You know, what it is is that you're just allowing your desire to be shown right away and it's like a almost sudden way of doing it. But it gets many ways. If you're feeling into the girl, you can come around in a way where it's not so sudden. You know, but many times when you're first doing these ones, they will be clunky. They will be all over the place. So it's okay if it is. Just keep working at it. And the more you do it, the easier it'll become. Then you have the one when a woman is walking towards you. This is the one where you can absolutely just stop with uh, a certain type of desire. Like this is the perfect one for you to be able to lock your eyes on because once you lock your eyes on in this one, this is the one that's gonna allow the woman to feel the full effect of whatever is coming her way. She may feel that, okay, this, this guy is really into me this way, this guy is really sexually into me this way, and whatever it is, you just allow her to feel it. You just lock your eyes onto her as she's coming towards you, and then you stop her in the way that's shown in the video. It's a very good way and um, it really is just, it's another way where you are able to just bungee jump into the moment. It's one of the ways I've heard it. And then you have the one where you just physically touch. This is the one where I would say many guys, they absolutely may shy away from because it's super, super, not so advanced, but it's, it's super, it requires a lot of calibration. It does, you know. As you, you know, go up to a girl and you go to stop her, as you would notice, she will either react this way or she might really be into it. And this requires a lot of calibration. That's what I said. It really does require a lot of calibration. But the moment you start doing it and it becomes comfortable to you and you can really feel into the moment with the girl, it becomes magical. It, it does. A uh, person I love that does this is Andy, the guy that works with us, Travel Bump. Oh, he's so great. I learned this from him. I mean, he touches girls on the lower back before, during the day while, while he's saying hello to them. And he's just so feeling into the moment that he's able to do that. And it's such a beautiful thing once you can start to do that. Once you can start to do the uh, physical touch uh, right away without saying anything. And it's beautiful. Especially if a girl is, has her headphones in or she's looking this way and talking to a friend. It's amazing to do. With all these approaches, I want you to understand that the main things that I want you to be worried about is the, the what's underneath. 
What's underneath is way more important than the mechanics. The mechanics come later. You know, the underneath is everything. It is. I mean, you can stop girls with conviction without doing any other shit that you learn in this video. Just if you stop them with the conviction that I want to meet you, that is enough and they will stop. So you need to understand that all the working shit that you need is underneath. Everything on top is just there as, you know, stuff that's glossy, but it all stems from what's underneath. If you want to do coaching with me, if you want to uh, do one-on-one -on -one, or you want to coach a TNL team, go to the naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page, put it in an inquiry, and I will surely get back to you. Subscribe below to Essence of Solo, and I'm out. Ooh, my foot fell asleep.